What's up guys, it's Nofsky with Academia Audio and today I will show you how I made this. Alrighty guys, so that was a EDM trappy pop song I threw together. Um, I won't be going over the whole song in this video. Uh, I'm just going to be focusing on the drop. Um, but if you guys do want me to go over the whole song, please put that down in the comments below. Also guys, this is a song that I released with Milan, and I will put the link down in the description if you guys want to go listen to the full song. So definitely check it out. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So I'm going to start with the synth bus. Um, I think one of the main little nuggets of this song is that lead that comes in. And this is actually a really easy sound to make. For starters, I have a serum preset, and this is from the... Kashmir acoustics pack he did with seven skies and is just one of their keys presets and if I turn all this off you can see what that sounds like so super basic um, you can use any preset you want for this sound the preset is not that important um, what really gives this sound that lead electric guitar kind of vibe is this guy right here. The combination of the amp and the cabinet. So even if I don't add anything else on and I just add these guys, this is now where we're sitting at. So huge, huge, huge difference. And then the rest of the sound or the rest of these plugins is me just kind of shaping it. So I have a little EQ going on here and I'm cutting everything off below 325 and 8K. Next, I have another EQ just dipping out some unwanted frequencies. And then next, I have an auto filter for automation purposes. You can see that little dot right there. And then a, another EQ from Sound Toys. So that is pretty much the sound, and this is what it sounds like. I do have another layer going on, um, and I called this layer the bell support, and this is what that sounds like. And I have some similar processing going on here as well. I do have micro shift on here just to kind of push it out to the sides. And this is what they sound like together. Next, I want to talk about the bass bus. And I have two layers going on here in the drop. I have a sub layer and I'm just using the sub from our exhale preset. Uh, if you guys haven't, definitely go check that out below. We have a pack called Exhale, and it's all our serum presets, and they're all absolutely amazing. A lot of the sounds that I use in the videos you guys see are from our packs, so if you haven't, definitely go check that out. I did adjust the release and the envelope just a little bit just to make it more 8080, if that makes sense. So, but this is the preset. I do have a little bit of R bass going on, and then an EQ. Next, I do have a top bass, and I just have some Decapitator. I have some Saturn, and I have some R bass, and then I also have an EQ on that. And I did, uh, I do like to separate my bases. I have my sub layer kind of sitting in that nice pocket between 40 and 100. And that way when I go to process my top base and saturate it, it doesn't compromise the low end. That is a little tip for me to just get a nice consistent sounding sub. 
throughout your track. So that is all that there is for the bass bus. It's just kind of thumping along there, and this is what it sounds like. Next, let's talk about the drums. Um, I do change up the drum pattern, and by change up, I just make the kick go four on the floor, and it gives it this nice reggaeton kind of vibe. So this is our kick. So super basic, just a nice fun little trappy groove and then a four on the floor. I do have some minor processing going on, uh, just an EQ. Next, the snare bus. I do have one of our claps from our pack and this is what that sounds like. And then I do have a drum loops from Zymatics. Then I do have one of our trap snare loops. And that's kind of that with the combination of the kick is what gives it that reggaeton vibe. And then I just have a hi-hat down here. Just accenting all the clap hits. And this is what they sound like all together. As far as post-processing goes, um, I do have a little bit of saturation. The drive is at 37% and I have it on a gentle saturation. I do have a little bit of EQ, just cutting everything stereo below 175. And then I do have a compressor, just kind of holding everything together. And that is it. Next, the effects. And I do have some things going on besides just risers. And first things first, I have this little. So it's just a chant that's panning back and forth left to right, just to kind of go in between those claps. I do have a sweep or riser going on. And then more risers. I have a sweep. Then I do have a little pop that comes in at the end of each section then I do have a breath and then I have this little transitioner so just basic what I like to use the effects for is just to kind of fill up that empty space to add some unique characteristics to your track um, in the little pockets throughout the drop and I feel like they do a really good job to make your song feel more complete. Last but not least, we do have the vocals. And this is from an artist named uh, Milan. We did this song together called Feeling Alive. And uh, just amazing voice. And I don't really have much going on except I did chop up her vocal outside of the processing, of course. And if you guys do want to see how I go about processing my vocals, leave a comment down below and let me know. I'd love to do a video on that. But all I did here was as it was coming out of the drop vocal or coming out of the bridge or build up, I took the end of that vocal and I just chopped it up to kind of feed into the drop. And then I kind of did a similar thing here, but I did more of a pattern. I just want to feel alive. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. So if you guys have any questions or comments or you want me to go over a certain part, uh, definitely let me know down below. If you like any of the sounds in this video, we do have several packs down below that you can definitely go check out. Uh, we also have a free template. And we have a whole video kind of explaining it, but in a nutshell, it is a template we created to kind of help you guys along when you open a project. It 
helps you start and stay in the creative flow. There's been so many times where I've been pulled out of the creative flow because I'm having to turn some knobs and gain stage everything and make sure things sound good. Well, everything with our template is already pretty much as far as we can mixed for you. So you can just focus on the creative side of things. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, it's free. Go down below and download that and start using it and thank me later. Uh, again, like, share, and subscribe. You guys have a blessed day and peace.